Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Chic. I wanted to do a video for you guys about my top 10 fall blushes that I'm loving right now. And what I do, or what I did, was I have four high-end, well, high-end meaning MAC, and six drugstore. I love drugstore blushes. That is probably the one thing I will say is I love drugstore brush blushes because of the simple fact that I am not a huge blush hoarder or, like, can't live without my blush. I have natural rosiness in my cheeks, so I'm very careful on what blushes I use because I don't want to... Even when putting I put foundation on and primer, I still have some rosiness in my cheeks. So I use blush very sparingly. But I wanted to show you my top 10 favorites for fall. The first one is one that is fairly new to me. And this is by Milani. It's one of their baked blushes. And this is in Fantastico Mauve. This is so pretty. I love this color. It is, it's just, the pigmentation on these blushes is better than some of the MAC pigmentation on their blushes. I mean, it is just a beautiful mauve color for fall. And it gives you an amazing color. I mean, look at that pigmentation. That is just gorgeous. I'm going to buy more of these Milani blushes because I ha I've, I own two. I own this one, Fantastico Mauve, and then I also own Luminoso, which I, I love both of them. But this one is a little bit more appropriate for fall. It's just got that beautiful rosy pink kind of a plum. It's just awesome. When you use these though, swipe your brush lightly. Don't go crazy because you'll get crazy color payoff. The next one I have is by e.l.f. and this is in the contouring palette. For $3, I think this palette is something that is a necessity for any makeup lover. One, you can keep it in your bag and just use the mirror. That's my chandelier. Or two, it comes with a blush and a bronzer. Now this is the St. Lucia palette. And I love the bronzer. The bronzer is really nice. It's not super... When you first look at it, you're like, ooh, that could have some shimmer. But it does not. It's just a beautiful kind of a matte bronzer. Reminds me a little bit of Rockateur by Benefit. Just without the gold flecks. But that is a swatch. It's not quite as rose gold as Benefit's Rockateur, but it's it's a beautiful color regardless. But that is the, the Elf St. Lucia palette. Love this palette. This is an essential for me. The other Elf product that I have is a, is a blush and the color is Candied Coral. And it's one that looks like this. That is the blush. And it's a beautiful, soft pink, kind of a dusty pink color. But that is Candied Coral. And it's just a pretty, kind of a dusty pinkish coral color. I really, really like that color. Now, my next blush is one of the NYX Mosaic Powders. I can't still wet. And this is, and this is what the package looks like. You can get these at Ulta, online, or now at Target. But this is in color Silk. I love this because you have your choice of colors that you can play with. I personally just swirl them around. I love how silky this is, how smooth, the beautiful color that you get. It's just beautiful. And I love how it's soft. See how soft that is? It's just a very warm color. And I like that in my blushes. I like something that just gives my cheeks a little bit of warmth and makes me look alive. That's all I ask. That is the NYX Mosaic blush. I actually got this in an Ipsy bag. And ever since I've got this, I have been, like, wanting to try other ones too. So, love this. My next drugstore one is one that I don't know if this is one that Hard Candy disconnected or not. But I think I still see it in Walmart. But this is one of the Fox in a Box. And this is in color Smooth Talker. First off, packaging Hard Candy. 110% AAA plus. Love the packaging. But that is the 
the colors. Again, you have your choice of four colors or you can swirl them together and just make this beautiful, soft, light terracotta color that is gorgeous. And this would be for someone, I think, with that wants a little bit of a lighter blush and not something super color pigmented. For me, for example, that's what I love. And I love this blush. I use this blush all the time. I love this one. But again, that was Smooth Talker. I love these Fox in a Boxes. I have three, and I wish I would have got them all. But My last drugstore is a Wet n Wild blush, and this is... If you, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you've seen this before. This is the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. I love this blush. This is probably one of my all-time favorite blushes just because of the color. You get such an amazing color payoff for $2.99. But that's the color. And it's a beautiful pink. It's not a hot pink. It's just a beautiful pink. So that is one of definitely one of my favorite my favorite fall blushes because you can like if you have if you're wearing bronzer you can darken that up if that's too light for you. But I again don't have tons and tons and tons of blush just for the simple fact that I use what I like and there's some days I don't even wear blush. I mean you guys have seen that in my tutorials or my face of the days. I mean maybe you'll put a little bit on, but you don't see me with heavy, heavy blush on. I have one bronzer that's high end that I wanted to include for the simple fact that as someone who does not wear a lot of blush, I love bronzer because you can even use bronzer as a blush to give you kind of that sun kissed bronze look. This is my all time favorite bronzer. I have Max Give Me Sun, but it does not hold a candle to this and this is Benefits Hula. Love this color. It's a beautiful matte bronzer. When my sample is gone, I will buy the full size. This is so smooth and just creamy. It's a wonderful bronzer. It doesn't give you too much color. It just gives you a hint of bronze. And it's it's just wonderful. I, I love Benefits Hula. I mean, there are many, many, many people who bought that bronzer who love it. I love it. I'll buy it. I love matte bronzers. The only time I'll use a bronzer with shimmer is if I'm not wearing blush and I want something just to kind of bronze me up a little bit. Now, I have three MAC blushes because, uh, you know, again, I don't have too many high-end blushes because MAC's my favorite blush. So, sorry. My first one is the very first MAC blush that I ever purchased. And this is one that I just fell in love with and I had to have. This is Love Thing. It's one of the mineralized. I haven't even made a dent in it. But it is beautiful. It reminds me... You know what? I wonder if these could almost be dupes for each other. Because it reminds me of... Milani's. Hmm. wonder if they could be dupes. But I just, I love this blush. It's just a beautiful plum color with a little bit of pink. You know, I'm going to see if these could be dupes. They're, they're different, but they're close. This is Max Love Thing, and this is Milani's uh, Fantastical Mauve. So they're close. But Love Thing is more pink where, Love Thing is more pink where Milani's Baked Blush is more kind of like a plum color, but they're they're close. But I love either one of these. I love Max Mineralized Blushes because of the pigmentation. Anything that's baked just has such an amazing color payoff that I love it. And Love Thing will be one of my favorite blushes forever. This was also my very first MAC blush, so. She was a special place in my heart. Love, Love Thing. I've actually used that as an eyeshadow too, I swear. Now my next two favorite fall blushes are two that are fairly new to me, but I'm loving them and I'm reaching for them so far this month a lot. And these are two by MAC. This is, whoa, let me try to get the colors here. This is Melba and Desert Rose. Now Melba 
is, you've, if you watch YouTube, you've probably heard of Melba quite a few times. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, soft, peachy pink. Now, you'd be like, peachy pink, I think of spring for that. But the reason why I love Melba for fall is the color is very soft, very neutral, and it just gives you that subtle hint of pink. So it blends well with, with my skin. So I love Max Melba. That is a blush I don't think I'll ever get over. Now the next one is called Desert Rose. Let's see. The swatch on my finger. There's a beautiful dusty pink color. And I and I love that color for fall. It just screams fall to me. It's darker, it's pink, it's kind of moody, and it just gives you a beautiful, beautiful pink color. So that is definitely two of my favorite blushes. But that's definitely two of my favorite blushes for fall by MAC. Well, I have three if you count Love Thing. The blush that I reach for all the time is probably the most out of any of them would be MAC's Love Thing or the Baked Blush by Milani in Fantastical Mauve. Love those two. And oddly enough, they're very similar, so. <laughs> but what colors are you wearing for fall for your blush? What drugstore blushes do you love? What high-end blushes do you love? I am working on filling up my blush palette by MAC. So as you can see, I need to get six, ten more. So what blushes by MAC that I could use to to fill this bad boy up. So I love suggestions. I I love to talk makeup. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy my top 10 blushes, high end and drugstore for fall, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.